Waking up early. Have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried the 6am entrepreneur morning routine and completely failed? Couldn't even do it for a week. Just completely and utterly failed at it. It's because you're trying too much. You're trying to be too productive all at once. You're trying to do everything all at once and it's not going to work. So you need to break things down into four things. Sleep, mental health, exercise, and motivation slash purpose. How many of these do you actually think about in the morning? Because I guarantee you that you are definitely not doing them. Sleep. Sleep affects everything. It is one of the basic foundations of self-improvement. It is so, so important because if you have a bad sleep, you have a bad everything else. Bad day, bad life, life feels bad, bad, it sucks. So if you have a poor sleep, you it affects all these other aspects of your life. So it's like one of the basic foundings of self-improvement. It is so unbelievably important. You have to get this down before you even think of having a good morning routine. If you don't have a good sleep, you won't have a good morning. So before you do anything, make this your priority. To wake up early, you need a good sleep. So allow yourself time to sleep. The thing is, 90% of people, especially young, young people, do not allow themselves enough time to fall asleep. They don't know about something known as sleep efficiency. So, my sleep efficiency is like 80%, and that's quite high. 80% of the time I'm in bed, I'm asleep. Majority of people, that's like 60. 60% 60 of the time you're in bed, you're asleep. So if you're in bed, like, oh, I'm in bed for 8 hours, you're probably not asleep that whole time. Allow yourself more time to fall asleep. If you want to wake up early and have a good morning routine, go to bed earlier. Mental health. Mental health is a very, very important thing. It is something that a lot of us, well, a lot of us may have poor of. Not very good mental health. Yet it affects a lot. Makes us feel terrible. So prioritizing this first thing when you wake up is a very, very good helpful thing to do. For example, when I get up, you know, I'll get a coffee. Right, I'll get myself a black coffee and I'll go stand outside and I'll enjoy the sun. It's grey right now, but I can see outside, so there is sun. I just enjoy myself, you know, just walking around the garden, looking around, breathing in the fresh air. And then I'll come in, I'll do some meditation for like 10 minutes to clear my mind, to be more present at my current moment. Then gratitude journaling, writing down 10 things that I'm grateful for training my mind to become more grateful and end up getting more life satisfaction, more happy. There are lots of things that you can do to focus on the mental first thing in the morning, but you can do whatever it is that you want to do. The coffee and sun is actually a really good one because it stops you from falling asleep again. You actually have to go outside. And that's one of my biggest problems when doing a morning routine, getting up like out of bed and then just falling back asleep, going back to my bed. So this really helps. Exercise. Push-ups. Push-ups. I do this with a friend, right? Every single morning we do 25 push-ups. We Throughout the whole day, we'll end up doing like 150. But like in the morning, straight away, 25 push-ups. Getting your muscles and body moving first thing in the morning kind of gets rid of that brain fog, that sort of fogginess in the morning because your muscles are activating. Getting rid of all that sort of brain clogginess in the morning makes you way less likely to fall back asleep again. Going on from what I previously going on from what I previously said, falling back asleep was my biggest problem, so this is a huge way to counter that. Motivation slash purpose. What are your goals? In the morning after I've had my sun and coffee, I've done my 25 push-ups, I've done my meditation, gratitude journaling, I've had a good sleep. I will then look at my goals. They're stuck on the wall over there, but I will look at my goals for the year, for the day, for the month. Become physically shredded. Create a community on YouTube that will reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Become mentally the most healthy you've ever been. Eat healthier and get onto runs. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get onto runs, like morning runs. What are your goals? Because if you've set none, you aren't setting up your day for success. This is very important because this will make it so you have a good morning, but then also end your day 
with a good day. So create some goals for yourself, some goals that you want to achieve. And the most important thing, just stay consistent. If you can start your day well, you will probably end your day well. And the most important thing is just being consistent, showing up, participating. Just start off at time that you can do. You don't have to start off at 6am first thing. You can start at 8, 7, 9. An early morning time that you aren't used to waking up because you used to wake up at like 2pm. I used to do that. I know people who still do that. They wake up at like 2pm and then stay in bed until like 4. Their whole day is wasted and they will then go out to the pub late at night. Just start. Stay consistent. That is by far the most important thing that I can tell you. Don't give up. And eventually over time you will be able to improve. This is a super simple morning routine that you can definitely try tomorrow. Do you know how I know? Because that's what I did when I first started. When I was waking up at 2pm, getting out of bed at 4pm, then going out drinking. This is how I started to change my life. So you definitely can as well. I believe, I believe, just stay consistent. Hopefully this helped you out. And another video is going to pop in the corner. You can click on it if you like. And you can subscribe as well. You will see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. I had a voice crack there, but I hope no one noticed it. Well, I just mentioned it now, so you definitely did notice it. Okay. All right. Self-improvement goes.